With eight films, seven books, two theme parks, merchandise and... The Harry Potter brand has an estimated worth of $15 billion. The books have since been translated into 77 different languages. Wherever we go, the education system does not fail to haunt us. In the scenes where children are seen in Hogwarts doing work, the actors are doing their actual schoolwork. Do you still want that Hogwarts letter now? Tom Felton, best known as Draco Malfoy, had the pockets in his robes stitched after constantly trying to sneak food onto the sets. Amy Wayler, who played Crab in the film, was cut out from the final film due to being arrested for possession of cocaine and sent to prison for his participation in the 2011 London riots. Now that's classic Slytherin. Um, originally, it came about, um, well actually it was inspired by um, the Harry Potter book night, uh, which is organised by Bloomsbury, so the publishers of the Harry Potter book series. Um, and I always knew that when I came to Canons I wanted to do a special kind of literary day. And I am a huge Harry Potter fan, um, I love Harry Potter, and I know that it's one of those book series that um, appeals to so many different ages, so adults, children, everyone um, has heard of Harry Potter. It has such a, a huge following, um, so I was kind of inspired by that and I wanted to create sort of a, an immersive day that celebrated Harry Potter and got people reading the Harry Potter book series, but also meant that we could create a magical world in here and we could do lots of fun activities and things around school. Um, again, I think it's just one of those uh, book series that um, appeals to everyone, you know, no matter what age you are. Um, it's never too late to kind of discover the magic of Harry Potter. So um, it's been translated into hundreds of languages across the world. Everyone sort of knows it. If they haven't read the books and they've um, seen the movies, I think it's so popular because it, it's just, it's a whole world, isn't it? I mean, the characters are so lovable and memorable. Um, you know, it's such a, re a relatable story as well. I mean, I read, I started reading Harry Potter uh, when it first came out when I was about 10 years old. That's almost 20 years ago, that's crazy. And I felt like I was growing up with Harry, Ron and Hermione as I read the book. So every time I read a new book, um, they were like at the same sort of, we were similar ages. So I felt like I could relate to the experiences that they were going through as teenagers. But then you have this amazing magical world and all these great characters. Um, again, as I was saying earlier, I think it's a book series, um, a, a film franchise that um, really encourages uh, people to read because you know there's seven books in the series and then there's loads of spin-offs as well from, from that series but they are just so magical and I think every time um, someone picks them up they become immersed into this, uh, this magical world um, and they're just such a joy to read I think the characters there's so much humor as well there's so much adventure there's fantasy, there's just so many different um, elements in, in, the, in the book series that there is definitely something that appeals to everyone and you know it's just the stories are so well written, I mean the characters are so memorable. I think this is something that we've already done really well so um, I have approached different departments, so the English department, maths department, science department, PE department, um, drama, his, um, humanities, um, and I asked them if they would sort of adapt some of the Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts themed uh, lessons and, you know, adapt them for, for their subjects. And they have, and it, it's worked really, really well, so um, mainly for Key Stage 3 students, so if you are a Year 7 or Year 8 student, you've probably had a Harry Potter themed lesson. They've all kind of adapted them um, for, for their lessons and it's worked really, really well. And I think that's another way of um, sort of introducing students to, to the series as well, is you know creating these wonderful schemes of work um, for them to do. And it's really, really good at getting students um, you know, into Harry Potter. So that's worked really well. I really want to do Quidditch um, 
So I was hoping PE would do that this year, but they didn't get around to doing it. So maybe next year we might see more of that. So we might see more um, departments uh, doing Harry Potter themed lessons um, for the day. Um, I think that's a really good question, actually. Uh, from my own personal experiences as a young reader when I first discovered Harry Potter, um, I learnt um, the value of friendship from, from reading Harry Potter. Um, I also learnt how to um, sort of I discovered courage, um, you know, standing up for what you believe in and um, you know for your values as well. I think you can actually learn some really good life lessons from, from the Harry Potter series, of particularly how um, the characters you know, deal with some of the situations that they're, they're put in. Um, again, I think, similar to what I said um, when you asked me what uh, children could learn from the Harry Potter series, I think they could learn a lot about themselves. I think there's a lot of um, things that help with self-discovery in, in Harry Potter book series but um, yes I think what I keep going back to is standing up for what you believe in and fighting for what you think is right and your values you know like your integrity um, as, as a person I think that's really important and also yeah the value of uh, friendship I think even later in life that's something that's really important I think that's something that we can take away from the Harry Potter book series is you know you kind of, as the story progresses you see what um, good friends Harry has and you know their friendships they go through so much together and they come out stronger and I think um, that's really important. As an adult I really, as I get older I really value like, um, my friends and um, friendship but I think you know people being there for you